So now we know that we can simply drag in MIDI patterns right from our MIDI pane into any MIDI track or into an instrument track. It just depends on what you want to do, you know, right into your DAW. Real easy, real simple. But we can also drag these MIDI patterns down into a gray area here in Pro Tools, release, and then we'll get our MIDI import options. So I can create a new track with this. I could have it go into my clips list if I wanted to. I want this on a new track. And then we have options of where to put at the session start, a selection, a spot. Then we have other options of importing key signatures or remove, say, existing MIDI clips or MIDI tracks. Now, if I chose remove existing MIDI tracks, you'll notice I have three here already. I hit OK that pops that right at the beginning of my session. And it also got rid of those other MIDI tracks that I didn't need. Now, if I click on this, we can see it's exactly five bars. I hit play, nothing happens. That's because this MIDI track is not routed to sample tank. So I'll simply click this routing box area here and make sure this is routed to channel one because that's where my piano resides, as we can see there. And now if I hit play, great. So now you know that you can simply drag in your MIDI patterns to any instrument track, to any MIDI track, or even into a gray area in Pro Tools, and you can work with patterns that way as well.